I grew up in one of the poorest slums in Africa. And the only money that my parents could, you know, afford was just for us to feed. And even that was a struggle. Chess changed my life. It made me see the world differently. And it made me believe that I could become anything I wanted to. Chess is a game about solving problems. And so is life. And when children at a really young age start to learn how to solve problems on a chess board, it eventually translates you know, into who they get to become as adults. You know, Africa needs a new generation of young people that would challenge the start of school that would ask questions, that would develop potential. Sometimes you see your parents struggling. Do you know why? It's because they don't make enough. The money they make is only enough to give you food and maybe send you to school. But they don't make enough to maybe buy an expensive iPhone or maybe set up a business or have a shop somewhere on the island. It's because they don't have enough. I don't want you to ever live a life of struggle or survivor. And that's why, you know, I teach you guys how to play chess, right? Because in chess, you would understand what we call value. What's the most powerful piece? Of all the pieces, which is what? The queen. The queen. Why? Because she's more powerful than the pawn. And that's how life is too. So now listen, the only thing that can make you different from other people in this community, the only thing that can make you like Uncle Tunde or like these aunties or all those people that you see is the value that you have here. It's not the power that you have, it's the value that you have. Your mind is your greatest asset. Your mind is very powerful. It's what will make you different, right? Nigeria has incredible potential. So beyond all the natural resources that we have, our greatest resource is the people. And we are lucky, we are blessed to have such a massive number of young people. That begs the question, how do we properly utilize this human capital that we have? I spent quite a number of years teaching chess in private schools. And uh, I remember quitting my job, you know, making a decision that I wanted to instead start teaching it in communities where children in places that would never get access to private schools or even basic education. So we took a couple of chess boards and we started teaching the children how to play chess. These children in some of those places that don't even know how society works, that are being limited by poverty, that they're empowered with the right education, to give them the power to make their own decisions and to create their own future. So. I grew up in a place in Lagos, Nigeria called uh, Ikorodu. My father worked as a bus driver at some point, my father's uh, boss had an accident, so he lost his job, and things got even worse. So my mom had to be the one to shoulder most of the responsibility for us at home. My mom even worked in the school as a cleaner. She had to work so hard, and at the end of the month, 
she still wouldn't receive a salary to go into pay my tuition. So, but that was how I was able to get out of school. In the time, I used to go to a barber shop to play video games. And um, on one of those days, he brought out a small plastic chess set. I'd never seen a chess board before. And uh, I, was, I was fascinated by the way the pieces were carved. You know, and uh, for me, it was just love at first sight. Chess, um, for most people, is just a board game. But for me, it was everything. You know, I could do something and be really good at it. And it made me believe that I could become anything I wanted to. It's a power to be able to create a future. Lagos is the largest city in West Africa. People trying to survive, make ends meet, and everyone is always on the move. Having a job, you know, gives the sense of purpose, gives the sense of contributing value. For the African continent, we have over 100 million people still living in multidimensional poverty. And even the ones that probably have to do menial jobs, they are earning very little money. When that happens, these people don't have any disposable income. They probably only leave to survive and to be able to feed themselves and their families. Human resources in Nigeria is it's a very big market, but not so many people focus on the blue collar sector. In Nigeria, the blue collar workers constitute about 80% of the workforce of Nigeria. So, we want everybody from Nigeria to get work. You don't need to go to school. After I say you get handwork, your fa- handwork will take give you food. We will take feed your family. Artisanofgod.com, like our website. Uh-huh. So, you know, say these days, eh, people now online that they find people to work for now. You understand? So, we will make it easy for you. Anybody call you for work? But if we put you on our website, every day we'll get work. Every day. All right. So thank you for your time. All right. So my name is Victor from Artisan Oga. Okay. So instead of sitting here all day and you don't get anybody to hire you to work for them, you know, we can easily connect you through our website. Somebody can, you know, come on, on, your, on our website and, you know, look for bricklayers, look for electricians, plumbers, and so on. 